Hey everyone, welcome back to Bagel TCG. Today I'm going to be doing a slightly different type of video where I'm going to be talking about uh, the kind of steps I take getting ready for a big major event um, and kind of some good tips and tricks basically to take down your road to nationals coming up this weekend. I'm pretty sure uh, the first road to nationals for North America start um, tomorrow, so I'm really excited for everyone who's playing in that. Uh, luckily, Road to Nationals, you only have to top four to get the invite to Nationals, so a lot easier than ProQuest or any of those other events. Um, and so, very excited to give some tips and tricks for that. Um, if I have to take some deep breaths at some point or yawn a bit, I've been having some breathing issues lately, so I apologize for that in advance. I might be talking a little slower and having to pause a bit more, but I still wanted to get this video out for you all and uh, just talk about... Um, you know, some, some tips and tricks for, for these events, right? So going into a major event, I definitely recommend picking a hero you're most comfortable on, right? And uh, that you you know well enough. Because if you're going to tonight decide to pick up Lexi and you've never played a game of Lexi before, um, unless you have like the most insane fundamentals in the world, you're going to struggle a little. So really the, um, the best way is to pick a hero you know so obviously there's some exceptions to that if you're i don't know what happened to this hero but if you're playing like one of the heroes that aren't doing as well um you might still struggle a little but honestly you're probably still gonna do better playing like if you are a really really nutty viscerai player or icelander player or anything like that i think you're still i think this is fi i think you're still probably gonna do better than if you have never played a game of lexi before so um, that is like tip number one, pick a hero, you know, um, tip number two. So we'll do pick a hero, you know, yeah, we're doing it notepad style on the screen. Uh, that's tip number one, pick a hero, you know, right. Um, tip two is to have a dedicated, I can't talk type plan into everything. So what this means is you need to know before you sit down for the game, how you're going to win that game, right? For some heroes, this is slightly easier than others. Like if you're playing an aggro deck, your plan into everything is to be the aggro deck and to kill them as quickly as possible. Um, but even for some aggro decks, that slightly changes, right? Like if you're not the fastest aggro deck and you're playing into a different aggro deck, you need to have some way to disrupt them, right? Otherwise, we'll just kill you faster. So you need to sit down knowing like, here's what I need to do for this matchup. This is different than having a, like a sideboard guide, right? The sideboard guide just tells you what cards to put in and what cards to take out. That's honestly less important than actually having a dedicated plan into each thing, right? So if I'm Oldham, I need to know exactly what I should be doing to beat Dromai and exactly what I need to be doing to beat Lexi, right? Just for those examples. Those are very different things you do into Dromai and Lexi, and you need to know the general at least an overall view of the strategy into doing it so it's like okay into dromai i need to hit all the dragons i need to aggress them into alexi i need to block out all the important on hits and i need to hit them with some relevant on hits like spinal crush and endless winter and i need to do some life gain in there and those are like the things you need to think about and you should be thinking about those during the game as well because if you get sidetracked if you go against dromai and you start blocking out Instead of just popping dragons and doing that, if you if you deviate from your plan, that is when you start to run into trouble. That's when you start losing the game, losing your tempo, losing your, your general strategy, right? So you need to be following your game plan. You can maybe slightly change it in the game. If you're Oldham and you're against Lexi and you just are drawing the nuts, you just go Spinal Crush, Spinal Crush, Command & Conquer, Pummel, Spinal Crush, like... If you're just drawing everything and you can disrupt them, maybe you can aggress a little more because they can't do anything except block there, right? But you need to at least know like what is my general strategy into each thing. And then you can pivot and change that strategy, you know, as the game progresses. But you have to have that strategy going in. Um, and then I guess the third tip is to just do like a mental reset after each round, right? So a lot of times I totally understand how discouraging it can be after you lose a round right i totally understand that it can definitely lead to some tilt so whatever you need to do whether it's sit by yourself and listen to music go vent to your teammates about what happened 
anything, whatever is your best way to just kind of relax after the round, get out of your system that previous round and just go into the next round, clean slate. The only thing you should go into a round with is being comfortable, relaxed and knowing your plan, right? Like you need to have those things going in. Other than that, you don't want to have anything from the previous rounds coming with you unless that's like a lesson you learned, in which case that's helpful. But finding your best method to do a mental reset between each round is something really helpful and uh, it's going to help you a lot throughout the tournament, right? So picking the hero you know, having a dedicated plan to everything, and then making sure you mentally reset between each round is going to be a really healthy way to go through the event and feel like you at least did your best from round to round. Um, and then the things to do before the event, I think these are probably all fairly well known. Make sure you sleep well before the event, eat well before the event. So just make sure you're rested. You're not, you know, having to uh, like go eat food or snacks between rounds. I mean, bringing a snack is important, bring snacks, but make sure you eat beforehand as well. Make sure you slept a good amount beforehand so you're rested. Um, like being on a bunch of caffeine is not gonna let you perform as well as if you just had good sleep before. Um, and then, you know, go to the go to the bathroom when you get a chance. Because, uh, yeah, I mean, you're not gonna have a lot of chances, especially if you're playing heroes who go into long round timers. Um, it's going to be a bit of a problem for you. So whenever you get the chance before the event starts, between rounds, go to the bathroom, get that in there. That'll make it, um, so if you're not hungry, you're not tired, you don't need to go to the bathroom, you can get all your focus on the game and you're not worrying about any of your bodily issues and you can just focus on what's going on there. So those are some like easy tips for the game itself and uh, you know things to do before and after the event. So those are kind of the main things I can think of that you're gonna want to have between the rounds. I'm just gonna move this over above my head so you can look at that while I talk about other stuff. Um, but yeah, those are kind of the main things you're gonna wanna think about in the event, right? Now I want to just kind of look at the metagame we've seen so far. Um, I think we have a metagame analysis here on Road to Nats. Um, so the metagame is mostly what we expected. This is not the analysis. Did they not post the analysis? I thought I saw it somewhere. Anyways, the metagame is mostly what we expected so far. Um, I guess they just talk about it here, but it's uh, Bra or Oldham, Lexi, and then this even talks about Briar a little. Basically, all the Tales of Ardor heroes doing pretty good. And then Azuri, Katsu, and Fai. Um, these are some decks that we saw coming in to answer uh, the Lexi problem, basically. So Fai has the ability to run um, kind of extra copies of CNC because he gets a breaking point. And that's an extra eye. He gets breaking point, which is what Dromai was running as well. So both of the Draconic heroes have a way to... Um, threaten the arsenal efficiently because one for five with a three block is a really good rate. So threaten the arsenal efficiently um, with six different cards, you know, the Command and Conquerors and the Breaking Points. So I saw some Kodachi Fi doing this, but Fi in general um, is going to be in a solid spot because of all the arsenal disruption he can run. Um, and then I saw, so I think either Ninja is a great pick. Um, I think Azuri is a solid pick. The problem with Azuri is that as far as I have seen, um, she has a below average matchup into Oldham and Dromai, who are almost always the most popular decks after Lexi. I um, mean, you'd really like to have a good matchup into like Lexi. If you're going to try to target Lexi, you'd still like to be able to beat Dromai or Oldham at least. Um, and the ninjas, I think, are going to both be doing fairly well into Dromai. And if you have a good game plan into Lexi, that's at least two of the matchups. I don't think you're going to ever really have an amazing game plan into Oldham on Ninja. Um, ninjas and Guardians just don't get along like that. But I think you'll at least be able to, um, you know, beat, beat Lexi maybe if you can aggress hard enough, get some Arsenal Disruption mixed in there, and uh, beat Dromai as well. So I think Ninjas are in a solid spot right now. Um, I know my tier list has Phi bugged out, but I would probably move Phi into the B tier with these other heroes, um, and I probably will after I fix this. And so he'll probably be right next to Katsu. I think both these ninjas um, are in a good spot. Um, and Phi actually might be like good enough to be in A tier because he's actually good into Lexi 
if you build it right and get into the other stuff. So he's not just one or the other. So five might be a lot higher than the C tier that he's existing in kind of right here. Um, outside of that, Azuri, like I said, has some of the other problems. This doesn't really, maybe it does it up here, but it doesn't mention Jeromeyer directly. But Jeromeyer is still a great pick as well as Oldham. I think any of these three heroes you'll do well on. I would pick the one you have most experience with. And if you have a good amount of experience with any of these three decks, I think that's what you should be playing at Road to National season. Um, otherwise, I mean, I would just move down the list and pick the one you have the most experience with. I think they're all solid picks overall. Um, and I think as long as you're, you know, kind of following the, the tips that are above me now and playing the hero you're most comfortable with, that's, you know, highest on the tier list, um, you're going to have a, a solid time at the event. I'm not going to have this video go too long today. Um, I'm just trying to take it easy right now. If there's any specific deck tech you're really looking for, um, please let me know and I'll try to put one together. I've been trying to, you can see, I've been trying to make some like budget decks, um, but really this game is not incredibly budget. It's very fun, but like the most budget I can get is like, you know, this is a budget Viscerai deck I could post, um, but it's like, $250 still for this to be like about as cheap as it can still be playable. Um, so, I mean, I can kind of make budget stuff, but I can't make it like true. Like I'd like to be budget meaning like under a hundred dollars. And that's pretty hard if you're not playing Dash or Bravo. Um, if you are a new player, definitely recommend Dash or Bravo. But otherwise, let me know what deck text you want. If you want to see my regularly updated decks, um, you can subscribe to the Patreon. These are all my decks as I update them and play them. Um, you know, the more recently they're updated, the more I've been playing them at armories or anything like that recently. Um, you can also ask me to update someone. I had a Patreon ask me to update the Riptide list. And so I did that. Um, very active in the Patreon Discord. So go ahead and join that. I appreciate all the support. I wish you the best of luck at RTN season. And uh, yeah, comment with what deck tech you'd like to see next. And I'll see you guys next time.